we're beginning our journey into the mysteries of space, taking a closer look at something called dark matter. Dark matter is invisible, but it's out there, pulling on everything with its gravity and shaping how the universe works. But the question is, how do scientists even know dark matter exists when it's invisible? What things have scientists seen that prove dark matter is real in space? How does dark matter talk to regular stuff, and how can scientists tell it's there? This idea is about how fast something goes when it's going around a planet. As that something goes farther away from the planet, it slows down. There's a formula that shows this, and if we apply it to objects going around the Earth, we see that the farther they are, the slower they go. When we check this for planets going around the sun, we see the same thing. In this graph, we can see this happening for all eight planets in our solar system. The line in a reddish-brown color predicts how fast planets should go based on how far they are from the sun. The Earth's mass is replaced by the sun's mass in this prediction. The actual speeds of each planet match this line. This happens because most of the stuff in our solar system is packed close to the sun, making it have the biggest pull. So, things farther away slow down as they get less pulled by the sun. Expanding on this idea, we could anticipate a similar pattern in a galaxy. In many galaxies, most of the visible mass, including that of a supermassive black hole, is concentrated near the center of the galaxy. In a photo of the Whirlpool galaxy, for instance, the central core appears very bright and is encircled by the galaxy's arms, containing material in orbit around the core. Considering this arrangement of matter in the galaxy, we would expect that the speed of an object in the outer regions of the galaxy would be slower than that of objects closer to the center, much like what we observe with the planets in our solar system. But there's a twist. This graph here shows what happens in the Andromeda galaxy. It tells us how fast things are moving at different distances from the center of the galaxy. The squiggly line in reddish-brown shows how fast things should move if they're going around the heavy stuff in the middle in a circle. But, the dots on the chart, each representing a thing in the galaxy, are all higher than the squiggly line. This means that things far from the center of the galaxy are spinning around much quicker than we expected, given the gravity from the things we can see. Even our own solar system in the Milky Way follows this trend. This surprise tells us that there must be more matter, called dark matter, spread out in a big circle around the galaxy. This dark matter doesn't give off light so we can't see it directly. We only know it's there because of how things move due to its gravity. Scientists think this dark matter forms a kind of invisible halo around each galaxy, reaching up to ten times farther than the parts of the galaxy we can see. It's like an unseen force making things spin faster than we thought they would. Dark matter was first suggested back in the 1930s by a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky. He saw that when you add up all the stuff, we can see in a group of galaxies, called a galaxy cluster, it's not enough to explain why the galaxies stick together. There had to be something else holding them with its gravity. This idea of dark matter also comes from looking at even bigger things called galaxy clusters. People noticed that the galaxies in these clusters were moving too fast, faster than what we would expect just from the matter we can see. It's like there's some invisible stuff, about 50 times more than what we see helping to keep everything in place. That's why scientists started thinking there must be this mysterious dark matter out there, doing its work through gravity, even though we can't see it directly. But the question is, why doesn't dark matter influence the way planets move around the sun like it does with galaxies? Well, it seems that a solar system is just too small to have a significant amount of dark matter that could affect how things orbit. On the other hand, a galaxy or a group of galaxies, galaxy cluster, has a lot more dark matter, and that's why we see this interesting behavior. Now, as for what dark matter really is, that's still a mystery. There are different ideas. One popular thought is that it might be made up of something called weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. Another idea suggests that dark matter could be made of axions, which are particles that were first talked about in the 1970s. Right now, we don't have a clear answer about what dark matter is. Some people think it might be these wimps. If that's true, about 200 wimps could be passing through a person's body at any given moment, according to calculations.
scientists are trying to learn more using a big machine in Europe called the Large Hadron Collider. It's the first machine powerful enough to create and maybe even detect WIMPs, and that's causing a lot of excitement in the world of dark matter research. Thank you for exploring the fascinating world of dark matter with us. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of the universe, be sure to like and subscribe for more engaging content. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Stay curious, and let's continue our exploration of the wonders of science together. Until next time, take care.